Good morning, folks. It's uh, Monday morning, the 3rd of February, and uh, here we are after the EU. And uh, let's have a look at this German DAX and see what's been going on in the last week. Of course, there's all sorts uh, in the news with the coronavirus and everything else. But let's have a look at what we've actually done. Well, this is the daily chart, you can see. Um, and all I've done is take the last couple of swing lows. Uh, and this swing low here, this is the low that formed the low of the actual range that we've been in this range since November. Completed this ABCD right in here. Now, if we look at this ABCD, we can see from the low to the high. And then, right, that ABCD expanded to 1.27. As you can see, and then after that, we've sort of gone into this range. Um, grinding higher, but basically we're in, in, a, in a sort of a range. And on Friday, the market came down. We'll look at this on a smaller time frame in a minute. This is a perfect A, B, C, D, right in from the high. And tested the low of the range. And you can see now it's bounced from it. So what do we expect going forward? Well, uh, you can see this was three drives to a top. I'm going to take it from this one because you've got more time symmetry from here. And that would just a spike anyway. So we take that high to that low. There's your three drives. As you can see, beautiful three drive, one drive, two drive, three. Um, not in green, shall we? And now you can see we've come off. It was sharp sell off Friday. Now it's all going to hinge on this this rally where do, where do we go from here well we did close below the 382 that's a bit of a concern so i would let's come down and see what we think is likely to unfold we all well obviously we know the weekly pattern's complete because we saw that there's your weekly absolutely on the money and this is a big wide ranging bar last time we saw one we had a wide ranging bar like that over here and then we saw sharp follow through then a bit of a rally and then went down for the rest of the year uh, whether that's going to unfold here i mean we've uh, we could get similar price action we'll have to wait and see right let's look at your four hour here's your abcd what we've just seen from the high we made last week a b c d sorry i think that was a week before and it's just absolutely spot on test of the bottom of the range now we, we're rallying watch the 382 folks at about 13.060 area, 65. If you look at these look, these two rallies, are more or less equal, give a tech a pip or two. That will take you somewhere up towards 50%. It'll take you up 1360 to 13.100 area. Uh, if we fail up here, then you're looking at another leg equal to what we've already done. Because if you bear in mind with chart pattern rec recognition, uh, markets do the same thing over and over again so these these swings um are quite equal we're testing the lows any rally if we start lower look at all rallies as a gift in other words a gift to get short so in other words if, if we're starting to move down then these little swing backs these are gifts same as when we when, we, when we're uh, when we're rallying and the market's right and these pullbacks they're gifts so in, a, in an uptrending market, the pullbacks are a gift. If the market reverses, starts trending down, then the rallies are a gift. It's as simple as that. So you just have to gauge. So 382 to what? 382 to 50%. Um, if this market's weak, it shouldn't rally any more than that. So, And 13,000, probably be a bit of a tug of war going on around there as well. So keep an eye on the big round number. Some folks think that is nonsense. Well, you look how many times price action tools and thrones around the big round numbers and judge for yourself really so this is what we're seeing in german dax folks um uh it's testing the lows it's not broken down yet but it doesn't look very strong does it so uh, a lot in the news news driven um so that's what i'm seeing in the dax folks so take care and good luck with your trading